Hi guys, my name is Marcus Pruna and I'm from Biped Dubi. I am now currently studying at Pataan Peninsula State University. This video is a requirement for my subject, Technology for Teaching and Learning. This video will be passed for my lear learning module number 2, course packet number 1, which is the development or use of the non-digital or conventional materials and the likes. But before we start, what is a diorama? A diorama is a model representing a topic with three-dimensional figures. For today's video, I am going to make a diorama for the types of dances. The diorama that I will make is a miniature only. I pick five common types of, dance, of dances and put it together in a diorama. But before we start, here are the things that I will use to make the diorama. So for the base of my diorama, I will use a carton. For your information guys, this carton is a two small cartons. I put it together so I can have a base for my diorama. Next is I will use also a colored papers. I have here a many, many colored papers. Yan. I have many colored papers here so that my diorama will become a colorful one. Also, last night I printed I printed the words and pictures that I will use for my diorama like the speaker because of I am going to do a diorama for dance. Uh, I I thought or I think that these speakers are vital to this to the dancers like me. So I printed speakers. Also I printed pictures like this, like this. And I will not promise you that my diorama will become as perfect as uh, uh, as the other diorama that you can see here in YouTube. Uh, but I will do my diorama as as creative as I can because for your all for all your information guys I am not a creative uh, creative person uh, but I am more on dancing and uh, I love it also next one I will need is a glue a scissor and a double-sided tape and with that let's start doing the diorama so for our first step guys we have to cover this uh, sheet of a carton and now this is my finished product for my base and next I will do is I will paste these words and pictures into these colored papers and cut it so it have it will have a design I'll give you an update after I paste and cut these pictures and words into this colored papers see ya so guys just an update i am now done um pasting the uh, uh the printed materials that i've made last night in a colored paper like that also the pictures like that and my labels is like this and i am also done in making these standees I make this studies just stapling it and then I'll put it here and then after putting that uh, after putting it this will become the stand of my picture so that the picture will stand like that so guys I will just finish this um, diorama and then you will see what happens and what is my outcome after this uh, after this sig montage so let's start the montage in three two one let's go Hi guys, this is the last part of my video and this is the finished product of my diorama. This is very simple because this is this is the least that I can do. This diorama tells me that I have to be patient all the time. I have to be creative.
But as you can see, this diorama is really a simple diorama. Even a child can do this, right? But this diorama is made out of my out of my courage. And as I end, let me tell you this. No matter how simple or how extravagant your work is, what matters most is that the knowledge that, that your work will share or will impart to others or to the or to the children that will see this that will see your work. And this is the end of my video guys. I hope you enjoy watching this video and, and I also hope that you gain more knowledge or more ideas on how to do a diorama. Always remember that simplicity is beauty and being simple is being truly remarkable. Bye!